Hello dear students, welcome to Maitri Academy. I am Hari Krishna. In this video, we will try to look at the questions which are related to time and distance. Basically, in the ISET examination, from time and distance, we are having two marks of weightage. How to solve the questions which are related to time speed distance and what is the basic concepts which we need to know, we will try to understand in this video. And knowing time and distance concept will be helpful in solving the different topics like problems related to trains, problems related to boats and streams, problems related to races and clocks. How can we define the speed? Speed is nothing but distance covered in a specific duration of time. Speed and okay, distance man cover the one point. We are starting at one particular time. We are reaching the other location in some other time. Suppose ki meru Vizak Nunchi Hyderabad ki wealth naran kondi. Morning 10 ki start ayam and afternoon 3 ki reach ayam ante 5 hours travel yes amani mini. 600 kilometers distance ni 5 hours lo travel yes. And the one hour kenta travel yes and one minute kenta distance travel yes am. And they define yes the speed. So speed is given as distance covered in specific duration of time. And we can give with a formula as distance by time. Specific duration of time and endu control one Sometimes we will express the speed in kilometer per hour. Sometimes we will express in meter per second. So speed is defined as distance by time. So speed is given with a formula called distance divided by time. And if you take time to this side, we can say distance is equal to speed into time. Time is equal to distance by speed. So, you can use these relations to find out the speed or time or distance. And let us look at the type 1 question. And type 1 question, I am calling this type of question as one unknown. So, why I am calling it as one unknown is, in this type of questions, out of the three parameters of time and speed and distance, any two parameters are directly given. We have to find out the other unknown parameter. That means, they will give distance and time, they will expect to find out the speed. Sometimes they will give distance and speed, they will expect us to find out the time. Sometimes they will give time and speed, they will expect us to find out the distance. So, if you know the relationship between them, you can easily find out. So, speed is distance by time and distance is speed into time and time is distance by speed. So, you must remember these formulas to solve them. And if you observe the First type question. If they are asking you to find out the distance, the question is like this. Speed is 30 km per hour and time is 4 hours. What is the distance? What is the formula for distance? Distance is given as speed into time. So, here 30 km per hour is a speed and 4 hours is a time. 30 into 4, we can say distance is equal to 120. So, this is in terms of kilometers. For example, they are asking us to find out the speed. The question is given like this. Distance is equal to 50 kilometers. Time is 2 hours. Find out the speed. Speed is given as distance covered in specific duration of time. Distance is given as 50. Time is given as 2. So, kilometer per hour. So, 50 by 2 is nothing but 25. So, 25 kilometer per hour is going to be the speed. For example, they are asking us to find out the time. Speed is 40 km per hour, distance is 200 km, find the time. How can we find out the time? Time is given as distance divided by speed. Distance is given as 200, speed is given as 40, 200 by 40, 20 by 4. We can say the time is going to be 5 hours. Like that they will be giving the question. And it is definitely not a challenging question. All are related to basic multiplication and division. If you know the basic skill of multiplication and division, you can easily solve them. But what is challenging here is, sometimes you are, have to do the conversion while you are solving the question. What are the conversions? What are the units for speed and time and distance? We will try to observe. Whenever you are trying to express the distance in terms of kilometers, then you must take the time in terms of hours. And the speed will be given as kilometer per hour or km ph. When you are taking distance in terms of meters, 
then time you must take in terms of seconds and speed will be given as meter per seconds. So do remember either you express everything into this form or you express everything into this form. Intentionally while you are solving the questions, sometimes they will give distance in kilometers and time they will be giving in minutes and they will ask a speed in terms of kilometer per hour. So that time you have to do the conversion and then you can solve the question. Don't blindly do the multiplication or division of the parameters. Let's look at how can we convert this. So one kilometer per hour. What is meant by one kilometer per hour? One kilometer divided by one hour. What is one kilometer in terms of meters? One kilometer is nothing but 1000 meters. And what is one hour in terms of minutes? One hour is nothing but 60 minutes. One minute is nothing but 60 seconds. If you further simplify, we can say this is 10 by 36. 10 by 36, we can also write this as 5 by 18. So do remember 1 kilometer per hour, 1 kilometer per hour will be given as 5 by 18 meter per second. This is a basic conversion. You must keep it in mind while you are solving the question. So do remember 1 kilometer per per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour. So, if you use this, you can easily convert the terms. See, for example, if we have a question like this, speed of 10 meter per second in terms of kilometer per hour. How can we convert meter per second in terms of kilometer per hour? 1 meter per second will be equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour kilometer per hour. So here 10 meter per second they are expressing asking us to express in kilometer per hour. So 10 into 18 by 5. So 5 ones are 5 twos are and 18 twos are 36. So 10 meter per second will be taken as 36 kilometer per hour which is available as option 1. You can mark it as an answer choice. Hope you are able to understand. Let's take one more. If you observe this question the speed of the train is 90 km per hour. What is the speed in meter per second? So speed of the train is 90 km per hour. They are expressing speed in terms of kilometer per hour. They are asking us to figure out this in meter per second. How can we convert kilometer per hour to meter per second? We very well know 1 km per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. So, you can use this conversion in solving. So, 90 kilometer per hour, 90 into 5 by 18, 18 ones are 18 fives are 5 into 5 is 25. So, we can say the speed is equal to 90 kilometer per hour or otherwise 25 meter per seconds, which is available as option 1. You can mark it as an answer choice. Hope you are able to understand this. Let's look at the questions related to this. A cyclist covers a distance of 500 meters in 3 minutes. What is the speed in kilometer per hour? So, they are asking us to figure out the speed. How can we find out the speed? Speed is nothing but distance covered in specific duration of time. So, here as per the data, cyclist covers a distance of 500 meters. Distance is given as 500 meters and they given the time which is going to be 3 minutes. As I told you in the previous, whenever you are solving the question, distance, time and speed, when you are taking distance in terms of meters, speed, time you have to take in terms of seconds and speed can be expressed in meter per second. So here they given minutes, there is no unit of minutes, you convert in terms of seconds. How can we convert? So 500 meters divided by 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So I am writing it as 3 into 60 seconds. This will give the result in meter per second. They are expecting in kilometer per hour. 1 meter per second will be equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour. So if you simplify this, you will get the final answer. So 18 and 18 will cancel. 0, 0 cancel. 50 by 5 is equal to 10. So we can say the speed is going to be 10 km per hour, which is going to be option B, mark it as an answer choice. Let's look at the next question. An athlete runs 300 meters race in 15 seconds. What is his speed? So what is 
the speed formula speed is equal to distance by time so here distance is given as 300 meters and time they given it as 15 seconds so 300 by 15 seconds if you further simplify 15 ones are 15 twos are we can say 20 meter per second but they are expecting in kilometer per hour so how can we convert meter per second to kilometer per hour so we can just use 18 by 5 so 300 by 15 into 18 by 5 so my suggestion don't simplify in the middle finally you simplify so 15 ones are 15 twos are and uh, 5 ones are 5 fours are 18 into 4 is going to be 72 so we can say speed is equal to 72 kilometer per hour let's look at the next question and before we are proceeding for the next question and if you want to join for api set and tsi set courses maitri exam prep is a mobile application which maitri academy is having in that we have a complete course of tgi set and api set where you can see all the topic wise videos for every topic in all the three sections of analytical and mathematical and communication ability so the entire course fees is 2500 and but now new year offer is going on instead of 2500 you can get it for 1250 rupees only and offer valid for few days only you can use the coupon code of new 25 and get an offer of 1250 rupees and get the complete full course of ISET at just 1250 rupees only all the recorded classes of every topic will be available you can prepare any moment of time just by going through the videos and you have the individual mock test you can see the practice uh, test pdfs so everything is available in the application once you download the maitri exam prep app and see the demo if you like then only you can purchase let's start with the next question if the speed of the train is equal to 92.4 kilometer per hour how many meters would it cover in 20 minutes so they are asking us to find out the distance how can we calculate the distance distance is equal to speed into time they given the speed as 92.4 kilometer per hour so they are asking the distance in terms of meters so let me convert kilometer per hour into meter per second for that i am using 5 by 18 so now i have the speed in meter per second and what is the time 20 minutes but minutes is not the unit of time you can take either in terms of hours or you can take either in terms of seconds so 20 minutes i am taking in terms of seconds if you take 20 minutes in seconds 20 into 60 seconds this you can further simplify 6 ones are 6 threes are and 3 ones are 3 threes are 3 eights are and if you further simplify 5 into 20 is 100 and 30.8 into 10 is 308 308 into 100 will be 30800 so 30800 is a total distance covered so we can say our answer choice will be option 1 like that the questions are given let's look at the next question if bus is running at a uniform speed of 37 km per hour what is the distance will be covered by the bus in 8 hours so what is the formula for distance distance is equal to speed into time already they given the speed as 37 this is in kilometer per hour and time is in terms of hours so you can observe kilometer per hour and hour if you cancel you will get the result in kilometers and already options are in kilometers so you can directly multiply them 37 into 8 so 8 7s are 56 8 3s are 24 plus 5 29 so we can say 296 kilometers is a distance covered let's look at the last question based on it if the speed of the bus is 72 km per hour what is the distance covered by the bus in 5 seconds so distance is equal to speed into time so they given the distance in terms of meters speed is available in terms of kilometer per hour we know 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 meter per second so 7 T2 into 5 by 18 this will give in meter per second and already time is given in terms of seconds so this you can further simplify 18 ones are 18 fours are 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 5 is equal to 100 so we can say distance covered will be 100 meters available as option 4 you can mark it as answer choice hope you are able to understand this and 
I am giving few practice questions based on it. So I hope you understand the concept. So use the concept, solve these questions and comment your answers below. Your comments and likes will motivate me to do more videos like this. I am trying to upload the regular videos in YouTube. So if you can comment and like and share this video with, the, with your friends who are in the need of ISET preparation, then it is going to be helpful for me. It will boost me to make more videos. So look at the question. Pause the video, solve the question, comment your answer below. Look at this second question. Pause the video, solve the question, comment your answer. Practice question number 3. Pause the video, solve the question, comment your answer. Thank you so much.